Hey guys, we live in an era where there are thousands of video games of all genres available to play, the longest genres being visual novels and of course RPGs. Specifically RPGs are by far the type of games you'll end up investing more time into, probably. And it just so happens that you've gotten to a point where you have way too many RPGs in your collection and little time to play them. Or you just know they are available through emulation, but that still leaves you trying to decide which one to focus on. Life is short, I know. There simply won't be enough time to play and finish every single RPG in existence. I've played a hell of a lot, yeah. But have I finished every one of them? Of course not. But you're not here to be like me. You want to know how to deal with your own personal dilemma. Since time is short, especially in adult life, my first advice is quite simple, play every one of them and if they don't hook you from the first two or three hours, forget about them. Now this could be a double-edged sword, considering there's a lot of RPGs that are somewhat slow at the beginning, but some of them get crazy good later on. In this case, maybe you should trust your favorite reviewers or friends, if they keep telling you this particular RPG is slow but awesome, maybe make an exception for it. Only if it appeals to you though. If the entire world tells you this game is awesome, but it definitely doesn't look like something you'll enjoy, screw the world and move on. But with other RPGs, like I said before, it's possible you won't have the luxury to make that very same exception. So for them, after two or three hours in, if it's a nope, then it's a nope. My second advice revolves around completionists. A lot of people don't want to just rush their RPGs or just don't want to focus on the main story. They want to do as many side content as they can, if not all of it. If you're this type of person, my advice is to make a basic analysis of the game. Think of how much you're enjoying it to determine whether if it's worth investing a lot of time into or not. Because honestly, I do feel a lot of RP gamers out there want to do everything in every single RPG they play. Why stress over that? I know it's a passion for some, including me, but in the end, it's just a hobby. So you have to decide which RPGs you want to complete as much as you can and which ones you're better off just focusing on the main story. Another piece of advice I have is on the difficulty mode. This one is quite similar to my previous point. Obviously this advice only applies on RPGs that let you choose the difficulty from the start. I've always said the same thing. Why feel ashamed to play some RPGs on easy? There's nothing wrong with that. But okay, I get it. You have your so-called gamer pride or whatever. So here's my advice. Is there really a point in playing every RPG on normal or hard? I'm thinking if you're really enjoying the challenge or if you feel the game's way too easy for you, then it could be a good idea to play on those difficulties. But then again, because of that, you'll be putting more hours than intended into it while your backlog keeps increasing. Therefore, I think choosing the difficulty wisely is a good advice. But then again, you have no way of knowing if the game will be that good to merit an increase on the challenge or if it will be that easy, you'll regret having chosen the easy mode from the start. Some RPGs will let you change difficulty at any time, I love that. Unfortunately, not all of them are like this. So I get it, but still, you need to find a way to determine whether if the RPG is really worth its difficulty. You loved one RPG so much, you really want to give it a second playthrough? Resist if you're dying to play other RPGs in your backlog. Resist, or you'll never find time to play them. Does the game have several routes and you want to play them all in one run? I've been there too, don't worry. Games like Chrono Cross, Devil Survivor, or even Land Greaser are great examples of that. In my opinion, those games were excellent, but I've come across others with multiple routes that just aren't really that great. So I'm fine with just one playthrough. The question then will be, is it worth it to play the same RPG in a row? While your bag looks just sitting there, it does put things in a perspective, doesn't it? Do like me then, do other routes, but only if the game is just that good. Do I hear some quality over quantity here? Sure, if that's your type of mentality, of course you'll want to spend more time with one fantastic RPG than a few other not so great ones. Makes sense, but then again, why would you collect every RPG you can find if you think this way? That doesn't make any sense at all to me, that's just my opinion. And when it comes to emulation, well, it's not like you paid for those games, so why stress over it? Plus, it isn't going anywhere anytime soon, so I'd say just focus on the RPGs you're really enjoying. There's no easy way at all to deal with your backlog, but like I said before, 
It's not a responsibility or anything, it's just a hobby. You shouldn't be stressing out over this that much. My overall advice is to focus on the RPGs that you find more appealing. There's a little bit of everything out there, short, medium and long RPGs. But it's up to you how you wanna play them. So if you don't want your backlog to keep increasing, then stop it from increasing. How? Rewatch this video for tips on the matter. That's all for today, folks. See you next time.